Good afternoon, everyone. I've been playing a lot of Wool Wars recently, which is the new Hypixel game mode, or game, game mode, I don't know. Um, and it's, if you've ever played, or played, watched, if you've ever watched uh, Minecraft Championships, it's literally just, just that, uh, that one game. I think it was like Battle Box. Um, oh, this is not good. There's like a lot of, a lot of nerds here. Oh, yep, they've got the skin. Beat him up. <laughs> Shit, okay. Do we have it? Did, oh, we won that somehow. <laughs> okay, that's... I'll take that. Felt like we were losing there. Um, but anyway, yeah, you spawn it, and there's, like, kits you can choose, and then you try to take the wool in the middle. And it's, like, it's fun, but it's also kind of weird. I, it feels it feels like it's just another PvP game mode, which is fine, because that's what I like doing. But there's um, six, six classes, really. Or classes? Uh, yeah, classes. And there's really only, like, two good ones, in my opinion, or three. There's, like... The archer, tank, and swordsman. And I play the tank because I don't like to die. Um, and also because I'm bad at the game. Ooh, strong sword. And, um, what are you doing? Goodbye, fool. Come here. There we go. Anyway. Um, and yeah, tank's cool because, you know, you die less. Although, when I say die less, I mean, like, slightly less. Because when you're wearing, like, leather armor anyway and your swords are um the the, uh, the bad ones <laughs> you got wood swords and then, like swordsman it's actually a stone sword right and i actually i've been meaning to like do the do the math on which one's better to run like if it's if the hit points or if the damage you deal or if the more damage you, i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but if like it's worth it to deal the more damage or okay this is whoa 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 whoa, whoa okay okay teammates come on come on teammates Come on, you can win the game. Okay, wow, that was that was cheesy. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, if like it's worth it to do the extra damage with the sword or to have the extra defense, I wonder. Actually, I wonder if it's the exact same because if it's not the same, then it might actually be mathematically worth it to run more class to run um, one or the other. Although, to be fair, if you are good at the game and can combo and don't, you know, yet stabbed easy then it's probably just better to run swordsman because you're not worried about getting stabbed because you got epic combos like that one i would like to kill that nerd i cannot kill that nerd instead i got killed by that guy that's kind of upsetting i missed the uh when you go upstairs you can like spam space bar and go go way faster but um if you hit it too early then you jump and i did that I fumbled the bag. Although, there's this the kid F16 Viper. I've seen like a bunch in this game. They're probably trying to get on leaderboard or whatever, but they're really good. So, oh, yep. And they're even, <laughs> even in chat talking smack. You'll love to see it. Um, anyway. God damn it, dude. How? Hello? What is. <laughs> I sometimes I feel like people have like reach, but it's it's hard to tell because I mean that guy just hit me from miles away. Although I might just be bad, just get get comboed. Oh yeah, this is a good team we're up against. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That's another thing about Wool Wars. It's very hard to sort of solo win if the other team is very good and you have a bad team. Um, which I say that I think I've, I've been saying that a lot recently, but. I mean, I feel I feel like in Bed Wars, even if you got a bad team, you can you can play more strategically. You've got like ways where you can sort of save money and then, um, like you know, sort of build up your resources so you got like good. Ooh boy, good ways to die less. Nope. Okay. Um. Right. So you got like fireballs and gap holes, and you can play more more strategically which is what i like about bed wars there's actually strategies you can develop but in here once again it's just run and gun and stick with your teammates it's like that in mini walls too which i've been playing because the tournament um and it's like it's just really annoying because you get teams of four who just kind of you know stab you really easy so ah uh, let's see if this guy can clutch nope <laughs> not at all uh, i hope we can get into a different set or different uh, different match what am i trying to say i 
hope we get with different people because that was a very sweaty and toxic lobby. I hate it when people talk like me in a chat. It's just so unnecessary, you know? You're playing fucking Minecraft. Like, calm down, you know? It's like you really don't need to be toxic in a block game. It feels completely unnecessary. All right, so blue has taken the center. Let's see if I can kill this bow guy or get thrown into the void. Oh, oh we lost. Oh, because they took middle. That's upsetting. They, I think it used to be that you could just instantly go to middle and start placing, and that was really annoying because, you know, people would just go to middle and they would like everybody would rush middle and then start placing and then you're dead and you know so that was really annoying it seems they're doing that they well they they updated the game so that oh my god how did i did somebody have like a strength buff or something it's upsetting um they updated the game so that you have to wait before you can go to the middle but um i it still seems to not have helped it's still a very viable strategy to go to mid I guess it's yeah, the, the only strategy you can do is run to the middle. Anyway, let's see if we can kill some of these nerds. It is a 3v4, which kind of explains why we're getting absolutely slammed. I have not been playing well today either. It's kind of genuinely upsetting. Um, can we speed, bo speed boost? Get a speed boost kill? No, apparently not. Is he like AoE? I was like everywhere and I got hit every time. Or AoE? What am I talking about? Yeah, today's just been a bad day for winning games all across the board. In Wars, people just, like, leave the game. Like, it was a 3v4 there, but I've had, like, 1v4s easily. It's normally when, like, the other team is toxic or whatever, which I understand. And, you know, just might as well leave the game and make it less fun for them. But it's just, I mean, it's like, it's annoying. And I don't know where the rest of my team is. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, hello. This is an MVP++ nerd. My, yeah, I'm the last one left. Okay. Get that epic wool placement points. Yes, sir. I'm going to look really impressive on the leaderboard when I get number one for wool placed. <laughs> That's another thing that I don't like about this game is that when you break blocks at mid, other people can just actually place the wool. And it's like the worst thing ever because you'll just be like doing the work you know breaking the blocks in the mines you know grinding right and then some nerd can just you know show up and um take all your take all your credit you know it's it's not right and then they get to show up on the leaderboard and you don't i just think it's it's a bad leaderboard stat to have Maybe like damage. That'd be cool. I don't know though. I'm sure the admins know what they're doing. You know, let the bad players shine when they steal your all your block credits, you know? Okay, okay. It is a 4v2, so I feel kind of bad. But luckily, one of our players kindly jumped off the map, so we didn't have to worry about that. Are they just bow spamming? Yeah, we'll just... Dude. Completely unnecessary. How many arrows does this man have? <laughs> okay, there we go. See, look, all the bad players get to have the most wool placed stat. That's that's how you know if somebody's bad or not. <laughs> a lot of the maps are just kind of just okay. Because you've got a lot of void here, right? So you're trying to, you know, not fall in. But people can normally just, like, stab you once and you'll fall off. Which is kind of annoying. But, so you can kind of get, oh, let me... PvP. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Anyway, so you can kind of just, like, edge camp, right? If, you, if somebody's, like, trying to come at you from the stairs or whatever, I guess you could, like, bow them off the edge. There's other maps where it's, like, worse. Um, there's one where it's a lava map, and it's, like, you know, big stones, because, you know, lava map. And it feels very kind of scammy. Die, fool. That health potion is going to do nothing, sir. I'm getting PvP'd. No, oh, I'm good. Not even close. Anyway, I do like this map, though, because nobody knows that this portal is a flank, so you can just run and, and kill them really easy, and then they have no idea. All right, so, like, you go here, and then you can kill all the bonards. 
No, they're not really a boner. I just, they just, I missed the hit and they also walked past me. <laughs> Truly, the two best players in the game at their fine. Okay, I can't, I have no idea where anything in my hotbar is because I, you know, I'm not used to this. <laughs> Anyway, you can see anime thighs with the most placed wool blocks. <laughs> Numero uno. Okay, so far this lobby is a bit a bit interesting. We've got an MVP plus plus with the name Alex, but then they've also got an underscore and an and two numbers. So they could be good, they could be bad. But then their skin, they do have the sweat skin. And then we got somebody named Z Cafe. That's a short name, MVP plus plus, and they've got a sweaty skin okay and both of the aforementioned players on the other team so this could go very bad it's fun to judge people's names in this game because normally it's a pretty decent tell on whether they're good or not goodbye sir um okay they just jumped down uh curt him out from all the way downtown okay you're dead place wool until they're forced to come over here and then stab them and then we win the game boom seven blocks placed absolutely popping off some of the other kits like engineer and uh engineer and assault are just really weird they've got like potions uh, like harming and healing um but it's like insta health and it heals like one heart so it in my opinion, is like completely useless. You like the helmet? See, I think that person just harmed their teammate. Can't tell though. Oh boy. Thank you for instant healing. Oh, how did I? Okay, <laughs> that's all right. I think, yeah, our boys are going to win the game here in a second. There you go. Didn't even need to kill everybody on the enemy team. Where were they, actually? They were just nowhere near middle. All right, we got two nerds here. Okay, and I'm doing decent. Okay, no, okay, that's okay. This is very upsetting. I guess this guy must have been like AFK or something, or something and came back, but they're cracked. They've got the one of the better hats on. Okay, I'm going to go up this time because going down seems to not be doing anything. Normally, it's better to stick with your team because then... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, one of our teammates left. That's why we're throwing. Yeah, stick with your team. Or, uh, stick with your team. Get the kills. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Yeah, that guy's just... Got like... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, if somebody leaves your team, you're dead. You just get blasted even though we were winning there at the beginning that sucks might try going archer this round it's fun to be archer because you get you get an arrow back whenever you actually hit someone so you can just combo the hell out of people and it's really fun and then but you got like a wood axe so your your um, offense is really bad but and then the ability is basically you just you just get blasted backwards so it's kind of helpful but if you need it, you're already probably screwed. Feels cool. Oh, guy okay, really had jump boost. Just, just tried block hitting with a, uh, with an axe. Okay. Oh, we, oh, we won. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Getting a stone sword as archer is kind of broken, because you just, you know, yeah, you have your bow, and then you go in with melee, and then you're basically a swordsman, because the armor, well, actually, the armor is worse. And then you also have natural speed, which is why it's easy to combo with the axe. So it's like, I think it does, what, one less hit point? Yeah, sounds about right. I want the armor, thank you very much. on. Oh, I missed that. Are we? Okay, we're good. See, look. Look, this nerd is taking all of my placed blocks credit. Like, like, come on. I'm doing all this work over here, and you just place it and take the credit. Like, what are you going to do? End up on the leaderboard? 
I wonder if I don't I don't even know if it like adds to your personal stats. See, and the and their whole team won or lost or left the game. <laughs> Just really, just really an L move, you know. You can't leave your teammates behind. It's just kind of, it's rude, you know. Got to stick with your hombres, your amigos, you know. You can't, you can't do that to your team, your team, you know. Okay, I saw the Viper sixteen nerd in here, and I think they have a team, which would explain why they're doing really good, but they left. So it's a lobby full of nons. I don't see any. Good names. Emperor QR. That's a it's a short name, all lower caps, with an interesting skin, so we might be in trouble there. Drip legit, it's a short skin. Could be could be bad news. Of course everybody on our team seems to have pretty pretty long numberful names, so that could be bad. Oh, their whole team is here. Oh god. That was yeah, I don't what I expected there. Oh, let's see if this guy can clutch. He's a swordsman with a medium length name. No, he's gone. Seems I was I was right about the two players who were good at the game. Might have to go tank. Just end it. Yeah, I made the mistake as a rushing as an archer, which normally is not um, you know, optimal <laughs> because you know, you have no armor, so you just get killed in like two shots. But okay, so it is this guy's over here again. I'll try to kill this archer if I don't get comboed. Okay, well they just fell off the map, and we killed that other guy who I think was also an archer. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. Just gotta make this jump, and we're winning. I think so. Yeah, okay. Woo, it's that easy. I want that stone sword. Oh, but so does that guy. Oh, now they have it. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. Not even close. Gone. Oh, I'm bad at the game. Okay, we got three seconds. There we go. See, this is the thing. You don't need to place all the wool. Like, you win anyway. As long as you have, I think, like, the majority of wool and everybody's dead. I mean, if everybody's dead, you're going to win. Unless, I guess, unless you're, like, you know, PvPing until the end of time and there's, like, two seconds left, but then somebody's... Somebody placed like one or two blocks of wool, so you're not able to get there in time and they still technically win. But that feels like more of a technicality. Okay, I really want to kill this archer just because he's actually good at post spam. Okay, it's a 2v3. Okay. Oh, oh, they're gaming? Nope, they're not. Okay. I think I still lost this just because I have two health and they're. Yep, okay. Not much I could do there. Okay, this is it, the final match. I'm going to wait and see where my teammates go so I can follow. I do not want to get trapped this round. The guy with the bow was good, though, which was a little bit concerning. Ooh, strength buff. Strength buff can basically one-shot, but it seems it wore off. Ah, shit. Okay. So it's a 3v2, it's a 3v, or 2v1 with an archer and a swordsman against an archer. To be fair, their archer is really good. Okay, this could be concerning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. That's upsetting. <laughs> swordsman versus the archer. I guess, so the archer does have speed, which does give a natural... Advantage. And the Anx isn't like that bad. I mean, with like no armor, Swordsman has basically no armor. If you got an axe against no armor, it is a decent chance you get speed. Because I mean, once you start the combo, it's kind of hard to get out of it. 
if the other person has speed. And also, our teammate was probably just bad at the game. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's all for today. If you enjoyed, subscribe, you nerd. And, um, yeah, that's all. Thanks for stopping by.